We're here in the Bodleian Library in front of one of the most important books in the English language, the first folio, first collected edition of Shakespeare's plays. This is a copy which has been in Oxford for the last 200 years, but actually the more exciting copy that we're talking about today is a new copy which we didn't know we had before, on the Isle of Bute in Scotland as part of the collection of the Marquises of Bute. And the Bute copy uh, has a really clear set of owners who've left their fingerprints, if you like, on, on that copy. The most Notable is an 18th century editor of Shakespeare called Isaac Reed. It's a copy which has got its own history kind of bound up in it, and that's a history of that book, but it's also a history of Shakespeare and what Shakespeare's meant. The Marquises of Butte have got an amazing library of all kinds of books. We've only just really, I think, scratched the surface of what's there. One of the things they thought they might have was this first edition of Shakespeare. I'm afraid I thought, yeah, right, sure, sure you have, yeah, just like I have, just like that fantasy that we all have one in our attic somewhere that we've lost. Checking the print variations very closely, doing what's called a collation, we were able to see which sheets were in the corrected form and, and which not. So that's a very uh, close, kind of precise piece of work which I think makes it pretty clear that the vast majority of the leaves in the Butte first folio are indeed genuine first folio leaves. The first folio is the reason that we're celebrating the uh, 400th anniversary of Shakespeare's death, not least because it gives us half of the plays. So if we didn't have the first folio we wouldn't have Macbeth, we wouldn't have The Tempest, we wouldn't have Twelfth Night, Julius Caesar, Antony and Cleopatra, all these wonderful plays which have shaped uh, our literary heritage but have also shaped our idea of what Shakespeare is.